This hack tip is brought to you by Full Sail University. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today I'm getting into your viewer feedback for the Linux Terminal 101 series. Now, I have learned a lot about how to use Shell, but you guys have sent over some really useful tips in the past few weeks. Now, here are a few of my favorites that I found helpful. The first one comes from James, and it's all about alias. He says, if a command has been aliased, and one might want to run the unaliased version, you might just want to put a backslash before the command. For example, his command is alias ls equals ls tac l. Now this command will usually run ls tac l if you don't have a backslash in front of it. So for example, he types in ls slash user slash bin, which will give you ls tac l as the output. If you put a backslash ls slash user slash bin, it'll give you the output at ls only for slash user slash bin. That's a really good one and it takes two of our hack tips and puts them right back together. So thank you for that. Meek says, I wanted to say you guys had a clever hack with your expansions to include the leading zero in the months and years, but you can also do something like this. You can say simply, bracket, zero one, all the way to 31, with another bracket. Now note the leading zero in front of the one in zero one. That will force a leading zero on all of the numbers to match. You could also say something like zero zero one all the way to zero zero nine. Say, were you listing the secret agents in MI6? Ha ha, good one, Mink. Also, couldn't you use expansion to describe the files to delete uh, RM? Yeah, that's a good point too. Good one. Now Matthew writes in, there's a cute little Easter egg in all of the Linux distros. If you press Alt and F2 for the run prompt and type in free the fish, let's try this, Alt, F2, free the fish. Uh-oh, there is no Easter egg in Unity. Well, let's see what he said. He said this little fish is going to swim around the screen and he likes to call him Steve. And he'll run away when you click on him. The funny thing is the fish cannot be turned off without restarting the distro. And he very much enjoys Steve's company while working. Now, unfortunately, Wanda was removed in 11.10. That's a Wanda the fish, when Ubuntu switched over from GNOME to Unity. But you can get her back and I have instructions in the show notes. Now we'll be right back with some more of your tips, but here's a word from our sponsor. 15 billion mobile apps have been downloaded from the App Store and the Android market share is expected to grow 600% by the end of 2012. You know that the mobile app industry is on fire right now, and Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program can teach you the skill set that you need to take advantage of those emerging opportunities. In this degree, you're going to learn both the programming and the business sides of mobile development so that you can concept, develop, deploy, and market an application from start all the way over to finish. You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual frameworks, usability principles, and app deployment for iOS and Android operating systems. Through Full Sail University's Project Launchbox program, students receive a MacBook Pro preloaded with industry software, plus iOS and Android devices. Courses are delivered through Full Sail's immersive online education platform, which maximizes the capabilities of the Mac, giving you a learning experience unlike any other. Between the App Store and Google's Play Store, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded with no signs of slowing down. If you're ready to master the technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry and you want to support Hacktip, go to fullsale.edu slash hacktip to learn more about this online degree program. And we're back with more of your viewer feedback and tips. Now the first one comes from Jorn, or Jorn, depending on where you live, I guess. So he says, to reverse search your shell history, you can just press Control and R. That saved me a lot of time. That was it. That was a, actually a really important one because I didn't know about Control and R. So thank you, Jorn, or Jorn. Steve writes in, the best terminal thing ever is called tab completion. And I know a lot of you guys have sent me comments about this. I try to remember, but a lot of times I just don't remember. I just type it out. I took a typing class. What can I say? My students rarely seem to use it, but it saves so much typing and it prevents so many typos. So when a students are slowly typing out something like vim slash 
Etsy slash sysconfig slash uh, network. Yeah, anyway, you get the point. He just wants to take the keyboard and slam it with them. No, I'm just kidding. He just wants to take the keyboard from them and just type in vim, et, tab, sys, tab, any, tab, s, tab, if, tab, e, tab. Anyway, basically just type in tab and have it complete the entire thing for them. Now you guys have sent in some really great tips and feedback and keep them coming. I hope that they help out some viewers as well. Thanks to everyone who has been sending feedback over for our Linux Terminal 101 series. I've really enjoyed learning what I have and thank you because I've learned plenty from you as well. I'll share a few of my favorite resources very soon. Now make sure to email me tips at hack5.org with your thoughts or you can comment below and be sure to check out our sister show Hack5 for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolist.